Welcome back to another episode of Natives React. We're gonna be highlighting a lot of Navajo humor because me and Jacob are both Navajo. But don't worry, I know a lot of you guys aren't Navajo. And so we're gonna be teaching you guys a few things along the way. And doing so, I thought it would be neat if we brought on a guest who is also Navajo. I run the Navajo meme stash and also Liner Productions. Yeah, I make a lot of Navajo memes. In celebration of this episode, me and Jacob have our Navajo tea. But without further ado, let's just hop into these videos. I think my dog is Navajo. Hester. Hester. Shuche! Thought a wet lunzes! He doesn't understand English. <laughs> only, uh, only Navajo. <laughs> yeah, this one has that same feeling with uh, Mexicans when they speak Spanish to their dogs. They oh. also do that? Mm -hmm. They'd be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Shuche! <laughs> okay, and then we got our next video. Real quick, Leonard, what does Billagana mean? White person. Easy answer is, yeah, white, white person. person. But let's hop on to the next video. Hurry up, there's Billaganas downstairs! <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hurry up, there's Billaganas downstairs! Though I think he could have said anything. Mm -hmm. Insert anything in there. Boogeyman. Pizza downstairs. Shoot <laughs> Chase. <laughs> have you guys seen that Billagana arts and craft place in Albuquerque? No. It's literally called Billaganas. I just think one day like a Billagana goes in here. What's that sign mean? Oh, it means warrior strong within one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a Billagana. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, you just found out. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> Hurry up, there's Billaganas downstairs. <laughs> no. Okay, let's go ahead and hop to our next video. What is? Yeah, the luck get up. Go chat some wits for grandma. Make sure you do it right. I don't know how to do it, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that one in law again. Or the city native. I'm looking at you, Pat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I don't know how to do it, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, juniper? Oh, that's oak, dude. That's the toughest yeah. one. That's yeah. the one you don't want to chop in front of your in laws. If you want to press, you cedar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But juniper burns hotter. But it burns too fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I gotta write this down. It's no longer a react video. How to impress the in-laws 101. Our first topic, wood. wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just keep it moving. Let's hop into our next video. I can do it. I can do it. But I'm only human. <laughs> Yeah. It is kind of true. There's that single battle right now. Yeah. Is it Indian taco or Navajo tacos? I always say Navajo tacos. I mean, we're Navajo, so we have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. There's nothing controversial. Hot take. When I'm around Navajos, I call it Navajo tacos. <laughs> when I'm around other Indians, I call it Indian tacos. You gotta play Whoa. both sides. <laughs> Ooh. All right, what about this, Leonard? Hold on. You're in a room. There's one Navajo and one Indian. What do you call it? I'll call it Navajo because we can take on that Indian. <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay, Good on. choice. Okay, Good okay. choice. Okay. Three Indians, three non-Navajos, but three natives. You and another Navajo. I like the odds. I sure. <laughs> <laughs> when do you switch over to calling it uh, Indian taco? Until all the tribes attack the Navajo Nation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we're in trouble. <laughs> Only when you're on another reservation. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you're on another reservation, alone as a single Navajo, we call it Indian taco. <laughs> I'd probably say we're all guilty because we took the word tacos. Tacos. Uh, Spanish are all mad at us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going on way yeah, too much yeah. of this. Arguing with ourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's hop into our next video. Never mess with a Navajo elder. Oh no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're in big trouble. I don't want to say anything, but that looks like my chapter house. <laughs> I know, I was going to say that too. It's like, I know that chapter house. I've seen it before. Is that Esther? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because I would just be in the back laughing like no other, but. <laughs> no, no, no. If you'd, you'd be asleep and then you hear commotion like, oh, what's happened? What's going on? I missed it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 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 
So let's hop into our next video and some of our comments in our previous videos, people were asking, what does Yatala mean? Oh, what is Yatala? Yeah, yeah. Leonard, uh, what, what is Yatala? Mm, it goes by many names. It's like, you don't know what you're doing, what's wrong with you, what happened, what the heck? But with that in mind, let's go ahead and hop into the next video where they're trying to teach their young ones some Navajo words. Say Yadla. <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> Say Yadla. <laughs> First word. Say Yadla. <laughs> if they trip and fall over, Yadla. <laughs> it is always heartening to see uh, young children speak Navajo. Okay, let's hop into our next video. When a Navajo mom wakes you up. Good morning. Wake up. Get up, get up, the bus is outside, it's already five, and you already missed it. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear that, I was like, okay, okay, I gotta get up. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I think is cool is on TikTok, right, you can reuse sounds. And so a lot of people even took this sound and they would play it in front of their siblings, trying to wake them up. Uh -huh. and Good morning, puss up. Go get the sheep and then go get the bus. <laughs> uh, that's not mom. <laughs> that's not mom. <laughs> Good morning. Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with reacting to some of these memes, I thought I would include a little section called Navajo Teaching. So these are specific videos that would apply to situations within the Navajo culture. And this first one deals with the baby's laugh. So Leonard, what is the baby's laugh? When you make a baby laugh, you throw to that party. You got to pay for the food and everything. When it has its first laugh, whoever makes it laugh has to throw a party for everyone. Because in a way, it's like a celebration. You're like, oh boy, you're bringing him joy. Now go get us some food. <laughs> <laughs> with that, let's hop into this video. Oh, is that your baby? Can I hold oh, her? Oh, you want to hold her? Hey, us. Uh, uh, Ah, uh, boo. Hey, wait, has she left it? No, she hasn't left yet. Shh, no, here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I can't. No, best hold then. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that he asked after he left. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. <laughs> Don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> what if, like, you and your brother trip at the same time the baby laughs? You guys throwing that party together? Is it both your responsibility? Well, it depends on the brother. Depends who hit the ground first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, if they're willing to pay or not, you know, help us out. <laughs> okay, we got our next video, which deals with sneezing. Leonard, tell us the significance of sneezing. When you sneeze, it means someone's thinking about you, or they care about you in a way. And my Nola would always tell me, hey, someone's thinking about you. Who is she? Whenever I sneeze, not even the, not even the intro, I'd be, that's you. And he's like, who is she? <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> but with that, let's hop into this video. Yeah, hey, I'm trying not to sneeze, but who the hell is thinking about me? Don't even say the name or don't even think about me in your head. I'm tired of sneezing all day. Yeah, hey, I hope it's not my ex. Or is it allergy reaction or is it allergies? Like, how can it be allergies in winter? Well, it sounds like someone's thinking about me because I sneeze about nine in a row. It's no good. It's no good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine uh, times, oh my gosh. Is it my ex? Is I know. About How many me? exes do you have? <laughs> but yeah, that being said, next time you sneeze, someone might be thinking about you. Okay guys, let's hop into the final video. And this one deals with clans. So Leonard, what does that mean? Your clans, Navajos have four of them. They come from your grandpas, grandmas. And they define who you are as a Navajo person. If you're related, that means you both have the same grandpa or grandma. Simple as mm -hmm. that. When you meet someone else, oftentimes you ask them their clan. You know, you say, hey, are we related? Are we cousins? You know, cool. But with that, let's hop into the video. <laughs> Why'd he get it? Oh. Hmm. Ooh, oof, oof. He was just making conversation. <laughs> all right, well then, what about this? Say we all have a girlfriend. We find out our girlfriend asked another guy his clans. Are we reacting the same way? Yes. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I never thought. Yes. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. I want to react. She's just probably. Ch I'm probably being all optimistic about this, but I mean. <laughs> she's like, oh, she wants to know if it's her brother. Okay. But what if they're not related? 
<laughs> okay guys, let's go ahead and move to our next section, which are just a bunch of picture memes. Other tribes, it's always been called Indian Taco and we make it better. Navos, just jealous those tribes. I second that. <laughs> they're just jealous? Yeah, they're just jealous. <laughs> just jealous that one is. <laughs> I'm gonna use this when someone asks me what I'm doing and I say grinding corn. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma's most used emoji. <laughs> Be asking her, what are you doing? And she sent you this. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> when you accidentally say a hee hee instead of a yeah. hee. <laughs> no, you gotta say. Oh, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to say. <laughs> No, I gotta say it, man. They gotta get it across. The word ahyeha is thank you oh. in Navajo, right? Yeah. And a lot of times people will say. <laughs> yeah, so we don't, we don't, we don't say that. Small, medium, or large Navajo. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of the stupid meme you guys had. You know what? Fudge it. I'll take make it a large. How much money I got? F it. I got my stimulus check. Make it a large. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the CARES Act fund me now. All these wedding baskets, but still no wife. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, mm. oh. So within the Navajo culture, whenever someone gets married, you know, we use these wedding baskets. Very symbolical within the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Our Navajo Nation president is kind of obsessed with TikTok. Here for it or nah. You don't have to watch. <laughs> so I don't know if this is real. I think it's real. It is. <laughs> you get a little fry bread dough on your fingers and all of a sudden your phone doesn't know your fingerprints. Um, hello, it's me, Miss Navajo. Hey. <laughs> Must be an Android user. <laughs> Yadla. Hey, Ooh. okay, true Navajo right here. Dang, I already took it. <laughs> yeah. Dang, already claimed. Already claimed. <laughs> I gotta use uh, numbers. <laughs> Yadla one. It's already taken. <laughs> oh, you want this? What's your clan? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, man, I'm already three months into this relationship and I'm too afraid to ask for a cleanse. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I agree with that. You're Navajo, right? Me, all Navajo, all the time. Hey. Yep. Hey. Hey. It's a good day to be Navajo. Hey. What's Navajo tea? Someone please explain when two Navajo girls have some gossip. Uh, that's the cheesiest thing I ever heard, man. That's, that's a dumb joke. Yeah. 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 Next. I had to hit that button. Next. Yeah, next. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Navajos own the biggest reservation in the country, yet date their own cousins. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's kind of hard these days, you know, finding that <laughs> one girl that's not related to you, that's hard. Just think of in a perfect scenario, a Navajo app, a dating yeah. app, and it already does all yeah. the algorithm for you so that no matter what, 100% guaranteed, they're never related to you. That's a good idea. That that works, but what if someone lies? This is why we have user agreements, okay? Someone, <laughs> someone report them. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I don't know about this app. That's what I'm saying. I'm kind of skeptical. All right, well, we're going to be looking forward to this app. <laughs> one day. Me. Contact me. <laughs> I'll bring you aboard. <laughs> okay guys, let's go ahead and move on to our final section of the video. Natives doing cool and unique things. And not too long ago, we had the news of the Mars rover, right? The Perseverance, which landed on Mars. And it was a really cool achievement. And there was actually a Navajo guy who was associated with all this happening, which was neat. Aaron Yazi, he's a mechanical engineer, NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. I not only want to share it with everybody far and wide, but I specifically want to look back to my home community, the place that I came from, and, and, and share with indigenous community, share with the Navajo Nation. But yeah, I thought it was cool seeing how someone from our tribe, another Navajo, they were able to actually work at NASA. He encourages native youth to pursue big dreams by taking advantage of small opportunities. If they really want to do something big, like work at NASA one day, they can do it. They're capable and they can do it if they want to. I'm like very happy to, mm -hmm. to see this. And what he said is couldn't be any more truer. Put these really big goals, even these far reaching ones up there. Doesn't matter how big and I guess you can say impossible they are, you can do it. And this hits home because I'm actually pursuing a degree in computer engineering. I love engineering and it just inspires me to go further. Okay guys, uh, but with our special guest, I want to go ahead and give him some time to introduce himself and so forth. I want to just point out that this is my meme page. This is my professional page where I make skits if you want to get to know me a little more. And I just want to shout out to Shadeja, Penelope Joe. She makes great art. And 
I want to shout out. His name is William Wayne Productions. He makes great videos. Rez humor we're looking for. I recommend checking out his channel. Yeah. Oop. I want to go ahead and also shout out my dad's website, gomysun.com, an educational website where you can actually learn a lot of Navajo words. You can hear pronunciations. You can click words and whatnot. But yeah, I thought it would be something cool to go ahead and mention. But also shout out to these Bluebird mugs. They were actually given to us by Navajo goddess, Michelle Thomas. But along with that, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys later. That was another thing, like, if it's made by a Navajo, then it's a Navajo taco. If it's made by a non-Navajo, then it's an Indian taco. Do you think that holds? Yeah, I could say that. Yeah. It kind of makes a little sense. But who taught them, though? <laughs> <laughs>